What is up, you lovely, beautiful people? How are you guys doing today? How are you doing? Well, man, it's been a while since I put a video out. Been super busy. Had a really quiet month in January. February, picking up a little bit, picking up a little bit. Haven't been on the campus board for a little while. Still keeping up on the training, but we're back. We're back on the board. I've uh, just been doing a bit of warming up. I thought I'd bring you along for the training. I'll also talk you through what I'm doing. So if you if you're tuning in, interested in the campus board, campus board stuff, I'd say this is sort of between beginner and intermediate. I reckon I'm on the big fat rungs. If you didn't already know, they're like 35 mils, big wood grips, and I'm mainly using this just to increase some dynamic power and explosiveness. Not so much the finger contact strength. Uh, I usually use that for on the um, beast maker, the hangball which is in the house. All right, I'm gonna do some warm ups with the ladder thingies. <laughs> First on the agenda is called max reach repeaters. Basically, start from rung number one, reach your max, drop down, clap, don't lock out the elbows, stay tight in the shoulder blades, compress, hold down, and then reach in with the left, boom, repeat. And I'm gonna go, I reckon I go to like max is four, and I want to get a little bit tired, I reduce it down to three. Until I get completely exhausted. One of my favourites, it's called Bumpers. Well, I call it Bumpers. Reach to your max, drop down one, boom, 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 a bumper, up and down, one arm first, 40 second, 30 to 40 second rest, do the other arm, go for two sets. Let's go. Next one is sort of max reach with a little bit of lock off. I'm not really that good at these, um, so I'm gonna practice them. I decided to just do one set on the, the bumpers there. Wanted to save a little bit for this one because I've not really done it before. So you sort of, instead of going max reach, you go one below, and then your spot one, you wanna pop and lock off here, and then reach one over. So I'm gonna go one, four, five, basically. But I'm um, doing it in a nice controlled, Manner. Maybe we should just go for one three five. I feel like the one three four is just a little bit not easy, but within my reach. So, so yeah, it's, it's different. Like you have to pop there and then get this and pop that there and hold and then your fingers and. On a bar, it's easy. Well, not easy, but you know, a lot more attainable than that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. It's really, really windy today. Crazy wind in the back. Uh, hope the mic's all right. Hope you can hear me. Got the little dead cat thing it's called. If I can show you. Ooh, it's pretty cool. Hello, hello, one, two. Yes, friends. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> so I very rarely use this camera. I am, um, so let me just put this back. Tongue out. Yeah, so I very rarely use this camera. This is like my big, big camera, DSLR. If you're into cameras, this is a Canon 70D. Got the Rode video mic on top there. I, yeah, I got this a couple of years ago when I was really into vlogging step up the vlogging game. I don't really use it that much just because it's so big and chunky. Anyway, it's great for the backyard, get better, better quality, better, uh, better quality content, that sort of stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, hope you're having a good day. 
Mine's going all right, gonna go movies later. Gonna go and watch Black Panther. The reviews have been incredible, so I'm super stoked to go check it out. I've been to cinemas, cinemas for a while. And then after that, me and Mika friend, Mika my girlfriend, partner, lover, the one. Um, <laughs> uh, we're gonna go grab some Thai food. I love Thai food, so good. Yeah, all right, then let's rest up. Gonna try those bumper thingy, my bobbies again. It's tough, man, it's tough, this is great. If you're tuning in and you're into Ninja Warrior style training, as some of you may know, I did a Australian Ninja Warrior season one and I was involved in season two. Um, can't really say much of what my involvement was, but it was wicked, super stoked to what my involvement was. Learned a lot and certainly you can do all the ninja style training, which is good for, for movement, but I have seen some incredible gains just from campus board and a hangboard, hangboard training. Climbers know best, they use their bodies, they're pulling up everything. You know, it's all about the hands, all about the grip strength. When you, as soon as you get your hands on something and you know you're never going to let go, you're going to be pretty sweet. I guess it's the other stuff like the parkour, slack lining, bouncy stuff we should really try and incorporate as well. But um, yeah, that's my two cents on that. Let's try this again. So last time I tried this was a couple of weeks ago and I was able to do it just once. Now I haven't been on this much since then, well, I haven't been on it since then. Uh, and this is uh, a Dino's two fingers, bum bum bum, two fingers, <laughs> whatever. Whole hand, two hands at the same time, missing a rung. So you basically go in two, three, five, seven, nine. Be nice just to try and use the whole board. No, I did make the massive thing, so may as well use it. All right, see how we go. Oh no. You know what happened there? Do you? I got scared. I did the first one, so woo, went for the second one, and then just had a little bit of height, got me a little bit. Woo. All right, I'll rest up for a second. We're gonna try that again. momentum but I think as well because it's on a 12 mil whatever that is brain's not working 12 mil this way I guess that overhang disrupts it a little bit I was good happy with that I feel like last time I was on it the last the last two jumps were the struggle whereas that time I, I paused on the last one so yeah that's a good one that one, it's fun. It's fun. Oh my finger! So, you have to call it a day on the hangboard there. My uh, finger has sort of come away from the nail a little bit. I don't know if you can see. I don't know why you want to see, it's pretty gross. So I'm, I did have planned to do some rope climbing and some pull-ups on the basketball anyway. So I'm gonna skip straight to that. We have a, I'd say it's about, six meters it's about a seven meter seven and a half meter rope eight meter rope actually uh just tied to a tree so up i up i go got the 10 kg weight vest on i'm just going for some pulling power explosiveness so a normal chin up pull up 
you know, chin above the bar. I want to try and follow through, and pull and pull the chest through the bar. That's the idea. I just suddenly got a little bit tired. <sighs> pieces of equipment it's just so good so a little fun fact about the basketball in the bottom if you can see that I cut a big hole in the bottom and then just filled it full of concrete to about halfway you can see there look <laughs> lovely beautiful people Whew, that sun is hot actually it's been a lovely lovely workout in the backyard but calling it a day and just on a final note if you do it already good on you for some reason I find it's quite difficult to do it's like keeping a journal or something but one recommendation I can say is just get a, a notepad uh, and write your workout in. So that was today's today's workout. Now for the majority of the time, minus 50% structured, and the other 50 is sort of, I go off how I'm feeling on the day basically. And then I can add different exercises like the pull-up stuff there and the rope I had in mind, and it's here for me to use. So I went ahead and used it um, and just sort of popped that in there depending on how I was feeling, you know, like on the campus board I had a little bit more planned, but then I burnt my finger, burnt my finger. So yeah, get, get a little notepad. I find it's really good. Um, mainly if I'm out, if I've stopped training this particular thing and then I decide to come back to it, I can always come back to this to refer, pop the date in of course, and just write a brief description as to where you're at. You can go real crazy with it um, <clears throat> by being really specific, but, um, yeah, it's entirely up to you, but I certainly highly recommend keeping a little journal. Uh, also, this is really good for like, different ideas and everything, really. Yeah, so there you go. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you liked the video. If you're into campus boarding, please let me know. If you want to see some more campus board stuff or more, more Ninja Warrior stuff or more trampoline and stuff, because I'm still doing a bit of everything, uh, let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see anything else, also let me know. Until then guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. You know, let me know how you're doing, let me know you're out there. Let's be friends. Alright guys, go and have a lovely, wonderful day. As always, live, laugh and love. Early with a peace sign. Namaste. <laughs> Take it easy guys. Peace.